And I'm saying to you, what if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. When people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life, you knew it was hard, but you did it hard. In your life's journey, there will come times that put your spirit to the ultimate test. You'll be tempted to break, to let go, to descend into madness. You'll feel isolated in the hardest of trials. And what you choose to do in solitude is your only companion. That's where true learning happens. It's in the silent moments, when you're all alone, where your response to life's challenges truly shapes you. The true measure of your character isn't taken when life is easy and all is going well, but rather at those moments when you're faced with trials and storms, when everything goes dark for you. The thing is about darkness, though, is most people freak out when things get dark. When they're in the dark and can't see, they start panicking and don't know what to do or where to go. But what you need to do is be willing to sit patiently in that darkness, assess what's happening, and become used to the challenge of that darkness. If you do that, your eyes will begin to adjust to the dark, and you will see exactly the way you should go to make progress. You gotta become comfortable with the pain. Stare it straight in the face. Don't run from it anymore. Stand still and let it run from you. When things go wrong, when you run out of money, when things don't work out for you, when the people you care about leave you, what keeps you going? If all you're doing it for is a house or a car, that can stop you. You'll give in so quickly. But when you're doing it because of something within you is burning to do it, when you're doing it for the people you love, when you're doing it for your family, when you're doing it for the pride of who you are, no mountain, no trial, no tribulation can stop you. You cannot be broken anymore. Strength is easy when untested, but it's when adversity strikes, when you're hit hard by loss, ailment, injustice. It's in these times that your spirit is refined. No matter how rocky the path, it's nothing but a journey to a greater version of yourself. You can't reach new heights without the climb. You can't enjoy the sunshine without enduring the storm. No one's coming to save you, but you can save yourself. You can pull yourself out of the sewer of life. Anything you focus your mind on, you have the ability to change. You don't like the way your life is going. You're the only one who can change it. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be if you just decide within yourself to change your mind. When it feels like everything is working against you, that is your greatest moment to show the whole world what you're capable of doing. This is the time you present your tenacity, your endurance, your strength to the world. I don't care who you are. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what it looks like to people. You can come back again. You're not done. You gotta stand up for yourself. You may be embarrassed, but stand up. You may feel like crying, but stand up. You may feel like it's all over already, but stand up. You may not see a way out of all this mess, but stand up. The more you fight, the more you keep coming back, the more you'll realize how much energy, how much resourcefulness, how much power you have left in you. You don't judge your entire life based on your current circumstances. Your current circumstances are temporary. You will not be where you are now for the rest of your life. Things will get better, and you gotta keep in the back of your mind at all times. No matter what I go through, I must not give up. Expect me to come back. I don't know how long it'll take, but expect me to come back. I don't know what I'll have to go through, 
but expect me to come back. I don't know what I'm going to lose along the way, but expect me to come back. It's the chaos of the time that creates a conqueror in the person. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with what's happening to them and rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toe to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. Do you not know that where you are will pass? What you're worried about will pass. One day you're gonna look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night. One day you'll see that it was not nearly as major as you thought it was. There's more in you right now than what's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life at this time isn't a true reflection of your potential. You are a walking goldmine of talents, abilities, ideas. Do you ever dream of doing something like starting your own business? Mastering a skill? That's the real you knocking on the door of your mind, hinting that there's so much more to dig into. Your life right now might be on one level, but you've got so many more levels of potential stacked up inside you, ready to be unlocked. You've got to be cautious and careful of the voice going on inside your head. You've got to constantly monitor that internal dialogue. Whenever you feel a negative tone of voice playing in your head, I want you to shut it down and reinforce your brain with positivity, telling yourself, I got what it takes. Today is my day. I'm going to make it. I'm going to do it. And nothing will stand in my way. I have enough power. I have enough persistence. I have enough perseverance to make it happen. The things you're saying to yourself determine whether you win or lose. What you say to yourself has all the world to do with how far you can go. Your attitude determines your aptitude. What you feed your mind will either be the fuel for your success or the poison for your failure. Your attitude isn't just a small player in the game of life. It's the f***ing coach, the quarterback, and the crowd that's either cheering you on or booing you down, shaping how high you can climb or how flat you can fall. If you believe you're a winner, your actions will align to that belief. If you tell yourself you can overcome, your brain starts working overtime to make that a reality. Where focus goes, energy flows. So if you're telling yourself that there is a way through this, you will look for solutions. But if you believe you're doomed, you'll only see roadblocks. Every time you catch yourself slipping into negativity, shut that sh down. Replace I can't with I will, I might with I must, I hope with I know. Your words are a self-fulfilling prophecy. So speak victory, speak courage, speak success. When life hits you, don't back down, buck back. Life's not always gonna go easy on you. It will strip you to your core and test you on every level. The amount of pressure it'll pile on you will try to destroy you. Do not allow that. This is no time to lose your head. This is no time to quit. This is no time to faint. This is no time to collapse. This is no time to give in. Decide within you that I will get something out of this pain. I'm gonna push through it. I'm gonna push through when it gets tough. I'm gonna push through when I get tired. I'm gonna push through when it's not convenient. I'm gonna push through when my heart is broken. I'm gonna push through when I get rejected. I'm gonna push through when I'm broke. No matter what happens to me, I am going to push through it. That means that you might have been kicked, you might have been shoved and might have been shot, but you're still standing ready to fight whatever comes at you.